Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain the projections of a point located in the third quadrant. First let us recollect the fundamentals and then move on to the problems. Here you can see the 3D representation of the quadrant diagram and the same diagram can be represented in 2D like this. Now you can see the 3D representation of the third quadrant diagram and the same diagram can be represented in 2D like this. We are going to find the projections of a point located in the third quadrant. First, we shall solve this problem using general method, then we can continue to the shortcut method. The diagrammatic representation of this problem can be shown like this. It is given that the point is located 30 mm below the horizontal plane and 20 mm behind the vertical plane. Here you can see the point C is located 30 mm below the horizontal plane and 20 mm behind the vertical plane. To obtain the front view of this point, we need to project this point onto the vertical plane. Ensure that this projector is perpendicular to the vertical plane. Now, the projected point on the vertical plane is called front view of point C and this point should be denoted using the corresponding lowercase letter with dash. That is, we need to name this point as small letter c dash. In the same way, to get the top view of this particular point, we need to observe the point from the top and project it onto the horizontal plane and obtain the top view on this horizontal plane and name this projected point as small letter c. After getting this top view point on the horizontal plane, we need to rotate this horizontal plane along with this point c into 90 degree clockwise. Now, we will get the final solution like this and the same thing need to be represented onto the flat surface or on a 2D paper. Now, we shall move on to the shortcut method. From this diagram, we can understand that the front view reveals the above and below distances from the horizontal plane and it must be denoted using the corresponding small letter with dash. In the same way, we can see that the top view reveals the in front of and behind positions from the vertical plane and the top view must be denoted using the corresponding lowercase letter. Now, let us solve the same problem using the shortcut method. Just we will go through the problem once again. The point C is 30 mm below the horizontal plane and 20 mm behind the vertical plane. From these two keywords below and behind, we can understand that the point is located in the third quadrant. Here you can see the diagrammatic representation of this particular point, capital C, which is located in the third quadrant, 30 mm below the horizontal plane and 20 mm behind the vertical plane. And temporarily, I am assuming that the front view point C dash and the top view point C are located in this origin position. For easy understanding, I am just relocating this origin point to a new point here and assuming that the origin point and C dash point and C all are located on a common point over here. Now, let us consider the first half of the problem. It is given that point C is 30 mm below the horizontal plane. So, from here you can see for below we have to use the small letter with dash. The C dash point that is the front view point need to be moved in the below direction for a distance of 30 millimeter. From the second half of the problem we can understand that the point is located 20 mm behind the vertical plane. So, the top view point the point C which is located at the origin need to be moved in the behind direction for a distance of 20 mm. Here, the behind direction is towards left. So, we need to move this point C towards the left hand side direction for a distance of 20 mm. In the general method, we have rotated the horizontal plane into 90 degree clockwise. In the same way, the horizontal line that is OC line need to be rotated into 90 degree clockwise. Now, we got the final solution of this particular problem. That is, the point O is located here and C dash is 30 mm 
below the horizontal plane or the origin point and the C point is located 20 mm above the origin point. Now we can represent the same solution onto a 2D plane or on a 2D paper like this. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and give your comments. And also don't forget to subscribe this channel.